Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate uh, this uh, interesting Putnam exam integral. Okay, how to begin? Well, uh, first here we have uh, infinite series and also here we have uh, another infinite series. Uh, I am going to take this is S1, S2 and our integral is equal to I. Okay, now uh, let's try to uh, represent S1 uh, by using sigma notation. So, uh, we can write S1 is equal to uh, sum of 0 to infinity. Now, here uh, plus minus plus minus we know alternating series. So, we can write minus 1 to the n power times now here uh, 1, 3, 5, 7 we know 2n plus 1. So, we have x raised to the 2n plus 1 over. Now, in the denominator, we have 1, 2, 2 times 4, 2 times 4 times 6. So, we can write 2 raised to the n times n factorial. Okay, now uh, we can uh, simplify. So, here we can write sum of 0 to infinity. Here, minus 1 to the n. Uh, here, uh, so, okay. Uh, minus 1 to the n here x to the 2 raised to the x raised to the 2 times n times x here 1 so x over 2 raised to the n times n factorial okay now uh, this x uh, we can write outside of the sigma notation and here 0 to infinity now uh, here x raised to the 2n we can write x square raised to the n power so here n power here n power here n power so we can write minus x square over 2 raised to the n power over here n factorial okay now uh, i think uh, this is familiar with you because uh, we know uh, e to the x uh, power series of e to the x uh, n is equal 0 to infinity x to the n over n factorial ok now uh, here uh, if we plug in minus x square over 2 so e to the minus x square over 2 is equal to 0 to infinity now instead of x minus x square over 2 raised to the n over n factorial this is our series so we can write now uh, this is equal to here x times e to the minus x square over 2 ok now uh, let's uh, move to s2 so s2 we can represent uh, n is equal 0 to infinity now here x square x to the 4th power x to the 6th power so we know uh, x to the 2 times n over here uh, here 2 4 6 here 2 square 4 square so we can write uh, 2 raised to the 2n times n factorial square ok then um, now our integral i we can write i is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now instead of this series we have x times e to the minus x square over 2 times s2 we know uh, infinite sum 0 to infinity x to the 2n over 2 raised to the 2n times n factorial square here dx ok then uh, we can um, switch sigma notation and integral sign so here we have n is equal 0 to infinity now 1 over 2 raised to the 2n times n factorial square integral from 0 to infinity here we have x to the 2n x we know x to the 2n plus 1 times e to the minus x square over 2 dx okay then uh, here 
we know uh, the definition of gamma function in gamma function we have e to the minus t so now i am going to um, use a substitution instead of x square over 2 x square over 2 uh, i am going to take uh, t so uh, if we differentiate 2 times x dx so 2 get cancelled x dx is equal to uh, here uh, d t okay then um, we can plug in uh, here we have 0 to infinity 1 over 2 raised to the 2n times n factorial square and limit we know boundaries also 0 to infinity now here x to the 2n plus 1 so x to the 2n times x so i'm going to write x then x to the 2n so uh, here x square so if we take uh, x to the uh, 2n both side we can take nth power so x to the 2n is equal to 2 raised to the n times t raised to the n so 2 raised to the n times t raised to the n uh, then here e to the uh, minus t and dx we know dt over x then we know this x get cancelled this x get cancelled and uh, here we have 2 raised to the n here we know this is equal to 2 raised to the n square so 2 raised to the n get cancelled and here we have t to the n e to the minus t we know gamma function so we can write here n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over now here we have 2 raised to the n square this 2 raised to the n get cancelled and here n factorial square times here uh, gamma of n plus 1 gamma of n plus 1 we know gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial so here n factorial then this n factorial this curve get cancelled so we have 0 to infinity 1 over 2 raised to the n times n factorial okay then uh, how to evaluate this sum okay here we have uh, e to the x uh, infinite series so if we plug in uh, instead of x if we plug in one half so here we have square root of e is equal to n is equal 0 to infinity then here 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 raised to the n times n factorial this is our series so this is equal to square root of e okay this is the answer for this integral and here also uh, we can solve this integral by using uh, double integral.